KHOU 11 meteorologist Kim Castro, the rain has thankfully wrapped up, but in many respects, the river flooding threat is just beginning. The reason a lot of the heavy astronomical rain we received is upstream to the north of us. And so that has to continue to travel down in rivers that are already swollen and that are having spillover effects. So that will bring a lot of our community's uh, vulnerabilities. I want to show you some of the rainfall totals from this week. This is Monday through Wednesday, close to 10 inches of radar indicated rain for Walker County. Brenham radar indicated 15 inches even down to the city center five six inches of rainfall. So there are various specific spots close to the rivers close to the bayous and the creeks that are under active warnings through the weekend, some of which extend into the coming week. I want to give you a bird's eye view of the areas that I'm really going to be paying close attention to. Uh, Goodrich is one of those communities because of the Cr Trinity River uh, outflow. Major flooding is expected. The flood stage sits at 36 feet. As of this recording, just after the noon hour, so just before 1 p.m. on Thursday, the flood state, the flood level is at 39 feet, just above that, and it's forecast to get up to 44 feet. Another spot that I'm keeping a close eye, East Bernard down to the coastline. Now, East Bernard, as well as Wallace, has two different impacts predominantly from the San Bernard River, but also it's close proximity to the Brazos River too. So that spot is going to be under a threat at least through 224 on Sunday. The flood stage is 17 feet right now. It's just over 17 and it's forecast to get close to 18 and a half feet by tomorrow morning, by Friday morning headed down this warned area close to Sweeney. You're under a threat at least until nine o'clock Saturday night with that flood warning. Major flooding is expected because your flood stage is seven feet. Right now we are over 11 feet and we're forecast to get up to 12 by Friday morning. Now, we also have specific areas that are threatened because of the overflow to the creeks, the bayous, and the streams. So flooding is likely at Mound Creek and FM 362. In fact, this area in Harris County is warned until after 10 p.m. on Saturday. Another spot I'm keeping a close eye on, Spring Creek and Decker Prairie at Rose Hill Road. That's another spot where flooding is likely, pushing towards Waller and Montgomery County. Two other spots where flooding is likely, Walnut Creek and Joseph Road, Mill Creek and FM 1486. Another spot to keep a really close eye that's right on the border of Harris and Montgomery County. Flooding is likely along Caney Creek and FM 2090. So just north of Old Houston Road. So that could easily affect your community as well. Working into another area that's just near the San Jacinto River in 5969. So just north of Humble. Your threat continues until Tuesday at one o'clock. So this is important information to note because even though the rain has wrapped up, the threats continue. Our partnership with the Harris County Flood Control District is gonna allow us to monitor the situation really closely and bring you updates through the weekend into the coming week. But this is the big picture. If you see uh, your neighborhood or maybe a family member's neighborhood that is in close proximity to these warned areas, uh, keep up with the forecast really closely. Check KHOU.com frequently. Check our social media sites because if there is an immediate threat in your neighborhood, we'll be sure to update you. But the general consensus for Harris Montgomery County, your warnings extend anywhere between Friday night to Saturday. For example, uh, this polygon here in Montgomery County that affects some 1500 people is warned until two o'clock Saturday afternoon. Cleveland down to Dogwood Acres. So Harris, Liberty, and Montgomery County affecting close to 5,000 people. You're warned until Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Also a concern for Liberty uh, down into Chambers County. And that is in effect until Sunday night. A spot that I'll be watching through the weekend into the coming week, New Gulf. So Brazoria, Fort Bend, and Wharton, this big stretch that's under that river flood warning, I'll have to watch you for an extended period of time. Like I mentioned, please keep up with the forecast and we'll just be watching the situation to slowly improve as those flood levels start to recede.